Welcome to Study Time, a televised home learning program produced by Rwanda Education Board. Hello class, welcome to today's session. I'm Arthur, mathematics teacher. Today we are going to learn together this topic, the inverse of an integer, of addition and subtraction of integers, which is unit 2 of primary 5. During this lesson, I will be using interactive mathematics, which is a digital learning material. So, what is interactive mathematics? Interactive mathematics is a Japanese software used in Japan and designed for primary school students to build a deep understanding of mathematics in the way students will enjoy. Interactive mathematics used here is customized for Rwanda and it is used in the laptops provided under one laptop per child initiative as well. In interactive mathematics, there are three step process, understanding, exercise, and test for each topic. So, what is the goal of today's lesson? Today, we are going to study about the inverse of the numbers. For example, what is the inverse of number 5? We will learn about the inverse of negative numbers. At first, we will study using the number line, but by the end, we will be able to answer the questions without using number line. Do you have a notebook and a pen? Good. Before going to today's lesson, let's start by review of the number line. This is grade 5, course number 1, titled number la line. Let's start. What is this? This is the number line. This is the number line. The red dot on this number line is on which number? Alright, the red dot on this number line is on number zero. Can we move the red dot to the right? We move the red dot to the right. To the right. Follow very careful. As we move the red dot from zero to the right, the number becomes bigger. Can we move the red dot to? To the left, uh -huh. we have put a minus sign, a negative sign. We are reducing the na. We are reducing the number. So the further we move to left, the number becomes small, smaller. In addition to the number line, let's review the positive numbers and negative numbers. Do you remember the word positive numbers and negative numbers? Let's take a look at positive numbers. Positive numbers are the numbers which are greater than zero. Have you observed that? Let's have a look now to negative numbers. Wow! Negative numbers are the numbers which are less than zero. Now, let's have a look to integers too. Wow! Have you seen? Negative numbers, zero, and positive numbers, 
All are integers. Do you remember the word positive numbers and negative numbers? Uh -huh. Let's take a look at positive numbers. A number greater than zero is a positive number. Let's take a look at negative numbers. A number less than zero is a negative number. Let's take a look at integers too. Wow. Negative numbers. Zero. And the positive numbers are all integers. So, let's sum up our review by just answering some questions. So, read the number line. Please give me your answer loudly. Can you read the question here? Answer the number corresponding to red dot. What is the number on the red dot? Uh -huh. Speak louder, let me know. What is the number on the red dot? Let's check if your answer is correct or not. Yes, can I click here for this take a yellow card? Wow, the number on the Red dot is positive 7. Have you seen? Well done. I will give you a flower. Let's do one other exercise. Be careful and follow very well. Huh? What is the number on this red dot? What is the number on this red dot? Huh? Speak louder. Good. You are saying that the number is negative 18. Can we check if your answer is right correct? Wow. Good, good. The number on the red dot is negative 18. There is no problem with any other number. I see that now you can find easily the number on the red dot. Can we do the next to be sure? Uh -huh, tell me. The number on the red dot is negative 20. Can we check? Good. The number on the red dot is negative 20. Can do one more? Uh -huh. The red dot is here. Check where and be careful. What is the number on the red dot? Uh -huh. Again. The number corresponding on the red dot is positive 6. Can we check if your answer is correct? Bravo! The number on the red dot is positive 6. Thank you so much. There is no problem. We can move to the next step. So, we are done with the review of the number line, positive numbers and negative numbers. Now, we are ready to learn today's lesson, which is the inverse of an integer. As I have said in the beginning, we will start by understanding the concept, then exercise, and then test without the number line. Let us start by understanding what is the inverse of an integer. We are in grade 5, course number 9, which is the inverse of an integer. Let's start.
be careful and follow very well. Read the sentence there. Can you read out, read out the sentence? The inverse of positive 17 is? Class, let's read loud again. The inverse of positive 17 is? Today, we are going to study the inverse of a number. As we have our question, the inverse of positive 17 is? As I have said in the beginning, we will be using this number line, looking at the number line, and think about the meaning of the inverse. But at the end, we will look at the number only and try to find out the inverse. Now, let's look at the inverse of positive 17. Please watch the number and be careful. Watch the number line carefully. Can I click for you on these yellow sticky notes? The answer is maybe hidden there. The inverse of positive 17 is... Wow! Can you read? The inverse of positive 17 is negative 17. Have you seen the concept of the inverse? Our number positive 17 is there with a blue dot. The answer negative 17 is there with the red dot. Did you catch something? Ah, good. Let's go to next and you will let me know. Can you look at this number line? What is the inverse of positive 12? Read again. What is the inverse of positive 12? May I click this yellow sticker card to check your answer if it is correct? You are saying the answer is negative 12. Let me check for you. Wow, good. You have answered correctly. The inverse of positive 12 is negative 12. Positive 12, the inverse is negative 12. If you look at these two numbers, I mean positive 12 and its inverse which is negative 12. The inverse of negative something is a positive something. I repeat again for you. I mean the inverse of positive something is negative something. And the inverse of negative something is positive something. If you look at the pair of these numbers, if you look at the pair of the certain number and its inverse on the number line, both numbers have the same distance to zero. From positive 12 to zero and from negative 12 to zero. There is the same distance. Distance. Wow, thank you. Now we understood the concept of inverse of an integer. So let's move on to exercise. Come on. We all have the exercise session. What is the inverse of negative 15? Can you read again? The inverse of negative 15 is? Tell me the answer. Wow, let's check if your answer is correct. Can I click for you here? Good. The inverse of negative 15 is positive 15. That's great. 
Now let's go to next exercise. Can you read the question? Uh -huh. Good. The inverse of negative 8 is... Find the answer quickly. As the question here, the title, let's answer quickly. Let's answer quickly. The inverse of negative 8 is... Let me understand well. Good. Positive 8. Can we check if your answer is correct? Wow. The inverse of negative 8 is positive 8. Can we check the next? Let's go to next exercise. Read again. The inverse of positive 12 is... Tell me the answer. Good. Negative 12. Can we check it is right? Wow, the inverse of positive 12 is negative 12. Wonderful. Can we do one more exercise just to be sure? Read the question and let's answer quickly. The inverse of positive 8 is, speak louder, negative 8. Can you check the answer? All right, your answer is correct, powerful. The inverse of positive 8 is negative 8. The last one. Aha, uh -huh. read. The inverse of negative 1 is, speak out the answer. Good. The inverse of negative 1 is positive 1. You are good students. Now I see that you have already understood the inverse of a number, how to get it. As I have said, now we are ready to go to next step of a test. Are you ready now? Thank you. Now we understood the inverse of an integer and you have done enough exercises. So let's do our test. You will answer the 10 questions without looking at the number line. Are you ready? Finally, we have a test. Let's do all our best. We have the question. We have a number part. We have number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. We have a positive sign here, a negative sign here, and the place for the answer. And the letter C means if you make a mistake, you can correct it yourself. Here, down, we have stars. Can you count them? Good. There are how many? There are 10. That means each question corresponds to one star. With a good answer, our star will get colored. Answer correctly and the star will be colored. So try to get all the 10 stars to be colored. Ready? Now question number one. The inverse of negative 19 is good. Let's check our answer. The inverse of negative 19 is positive 19. Can we check our answer? Wow, good. We get our star colored and we have been given the second question. Can you read it? The inverse of positive 17 is... Find out the answer. Good. Can we check? The inverse of positive 17 is negative 17. Can we check the answer if it is correct? 
Good, we get a second star colored. Next question. The inverse of negative 14 is positive 14. Let's check. Positive 14. Let's check our answer. Wonderful. Next question. The inverse of positive 19 is what is the answer? Quickly, huh? let's check our answer if it is correct. Negative 19. We check. Good. Next question. The inverse of positive 18 is what is the answer? The inverse of positive 18 is negative 18. Can we check? Good. Wonderful. Next question. Read out. The inverse of positive 17 is... Uh-huh. The inverse of positive, positive 17, you are saying is negative 17. Can we check? Good. Next question. The inverse of positive 7. The inverse of positive 7 is your answer. Negative 7. Let's check if your answer is correct again. Good. Next question. Read again. The inverse of negative 10 is... What is the number? Good. You are saying the, now, the inverse of negative 10 is... Positive 10. Can we check the answer if it is correct? Wow. Before the last one, we are remaining with two questions. Please be careful and answer them correctly to get all our 10 stars colored. The inverse of negative 9 is... What is the answer? Right. The inverse of negative 9 is... What is the answer? Positive 9. Can we check the answer? Check if the answer is correct. Right. Now the last question. Be careful here to finish well. The inverse of negative 3 is... Uh -huh. Quickly. Positive 3. Can we check? Wow, congratulations. You have answered all the questions correctly and have been given a cake. But before we share the cake and before finishing the class, let us review our today's lesson. What have you learned today? Right, you have learned the inverse of an integer. Now you can understand it and answer it without number line. That's great. Have you enjoyed learning mathematics with interactive mathematics software? Good. Thank you. Let's learn together again. Goodbye.